There has been a lot of chatter lately in the sharpening world about agglomeration, specifically around diamonds, diamond compounds and diamond stones. Most notably when getting to very small diamond particle sizes, as when you keep the mass of diamonds the same and reduce the particle size, you have a larger surface area, and this larger surface area more readily forms bonds and stronger bonds. I made an overview post on Instagram talking about how we avoid agglomeration with stroppy stuff, so you can go and have a look at that. But I thought there's no better way to prove that there's no agglomeration than to show it, and the easiest way to show it is with a perfect mirror polish. To help me with this task, I recruited Jake, who is an absolute polishing maniac, and luckily he recently received a reconditioned Rockstead with a hazy finish, so he's going to polish that for us and show us what stroppy stuff can do. I'll link his Instagram profile in the description. As proof that he's not just polishing an already perfect Rockstead, here's what it looked like after he finished it with a 1200 grit silicon carbide paper. You can see the lines running horizontally across the length of the blade. The progression to get to this stage was 1200 grit silicon carbide paper, followed up by 9 micron stroppy stuff on super finished foam, followed up by 4 micron stroppy stuff on super finished foam, and about to follow up with 1 micron stroppy stuff. This is a quick hyperlapse of Jake going ape with stroppy stuff 1 micron on super finished foam. In a moment you'll see Jake wiping away the 1 micron compound and revealing the mirror finish below. Obviously when we do apex refinement we don't do that wet. We let the compound evaporate and use the diamonds which are embedded in the substrate below to do the abrasion. But when we do lapping we want high rate stock removal so we'll do it wet with as much compound as we can. It keeps everything lubricated, it keeps the diamonds fresh and we just get a higher rate stock removal this way. The purpose of the intense light here is to expose any scratches that you wouldn't see under normal low level light conditions. So Jake has previously stated that a 1 micron finish is up to his standard for a perfect mirror in intense outdoor lighting conditions, but he's going to progress now to a 0.1 micron prototype of mine just to prove that there is like absolutely no agglomeration at all. We are well, well within the range here where you would expect severe agglomeration from any of the lesser brands. I don't really feel the need to explain any further here. You can see Jake wiping away the 0.1 micron and it's a perfect mirror finish below. The results speak for themselves.